hmm, okay, so there's this person over there and I really want to talk to them. I've got this instinct to go talk to them, but I don't know, I'm feeling kind of shy, so should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Oh, hey, hi everybody, you're here. Sorry, I was just dealing with my instincts and trying to figure out if I should act on them or not. So, which is actually going to be the topic of our subject today for acting from all angles. So, stick around, but first let me introduce myself. My name is Julianne Lichty Stratton. I am the creator of Actors in Action Professional Acting Conservatory, where we help actors create a fail proof process so they can book any or they can rock any audition callback or booking and be fabulous. And I have to say that right now I am just outside of Chicago. My husband and I are driving across the country to go to New York City. We'll be there in a couple of days, so it's really fun. We're just here. I'm at this rest stop, and I'm going to do um, Facebook Live from here. So, all right, so let's just get down and dirty with this. Um, on t Wednesday night, we had, two nights ago, we had Industry Night, our first Industry Night for Actors in Action, which is really, really cool, and I'm hoping the sound is okay. There's a bunch of wind here, but... Um, so what we did, what I do, is I invite in two to three industry professionals and they come in and my actors audition for them. They do like what we call a one-line audition, which can be one to three lines, um, or four or five, just a short audition. And everybody does the same audition. They come in and they do it for the, um, the auditors and then they take notes. And then afterwards, everybody comes back in and they give them feedback and then we have a Q&A. So it was really amazing, really amazing what, what, um, what we did. It was so cool. And all of my students can come, doesn't matter what class they're in, as long as they feel like they're prepared to audition for, um, for professional industry people. Because sometimes some people aren't quite ready and I don't push them if they're not. If they're not ready, they need a little more time to, to prepare. So one thing that was really, really cool, we had Christy Summerhays there. She's a dear friend of mine, amazing actor and a really great director as well, and a filmmaker. We also had um, Gina White there, who was, who is the owner of Moda Talent Agency here in Salt Lake. And she's just, she's in LA right now, signing up, signing something so that she can have um, an office in LA as well. And she's going to be opening one in New York too, so it's really cool. And then we also had Megan Smith, who is an actress and a director. She works a lot at Utah Children's Theater, and she just directed um, uh, No Exit for the Sisyphus Theater uh, Company at Rose Wagner, and I saw that. It was great. It's my first time seeing No Exit, and it's actually a, a piece that I'm considering to do for my, my theater company, Scaffold Theater, next year. Anyway, okay, so something that Christy was talking a lot about was using your instincts as an actor being able to trust your instincts don't push just let go just be there so this little demonstration i did at the beginning you know my quirky little demonstrations i do of me trying to figure out should i go over there should i not go over there should i talk to this person should i not that's what we're talking about impulse and instinct hi paulina's here hey paulina um that's what we're talking about with your instinct and with your impulses so in acting, we want to be really in touch with our impulses. Impulses are not in our heads. Impulses are not your head going, oh, you know, I think I should lift my arm here because that would look cool. Or I'm going to say the line this way because that's the way that I've rehearsed it and I think I should say it that way. That is not an impulse. That is, um, hey, Paulina. She said, hi, how are you? That is, so glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome. Um, that's not an impulse. That's being in your head and thinking things through too much. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to go, oh, if I say the line like this and think about it, that'll be really cool. We don't want to do that because that actually comes across as unnatural when we're directors on the other side or producers or when you watch your tape afterwards, you're like, why did I do that? That was so dumb. And the reason is because it's not connected to the reality of the moment or the reality of what is going on with you emotionally, psychologically, mentally, physically right there. All right. Whereas impulse is the feeling in your body and in your emotions of doing something. That's your instincts. That's your impulse. And that's what we want to tap into when we're acting because that's what we do in real life. And real life and acting are very similar, but they are different. There's a difference. And let me tell you what the difference is. A lot of people don't know this. 
The difference with acting is there is always, hey, and that's there, hi. Um, is acting, there is always conflict. There's always a problem. There's always something we're overcoming, all right? Now, in life, sometimes there's a conflict, sometimes there isn't. That's the only difference between life and acting. So we want, and hey, Chelsea's there. Hi, oh, guys, gosh, got lots of people. Yahoo. Um, so we want to make sure, like in just really everyday life, we just are hanging out. I'm hanging out here, you know, at this rest stop outside of Chicago, just hanging out here. My husband's over there walking around. He's waving at me, smiling. I'm listening to the birds. These are all my impulses. This is just what's going on with me right now in this moment. And I'm listening to them and I'm acting on them. I'm talking to you guys, you know, who I adore. And so I've got impulses going towards you as well. And that's what I'm just, I'm being natural. I'm giving into that. So the only difference with acting is then we put it into an imaginary circumstance and there is a conflict. So with acting with me, it could be maybe I'm worried that my husband just got kidnapped, which would never happen because he's too big and he'd beat him up. He's, you know, where is he? I can't find him. So I've got this, this conflict going on and I'm looking around and I'm trying to find him, but I'm not gonna act like that. I'm just gonna try to allow myself to, myself to feel it, myself, I guess I have several, myself to feel it and to be with the impulses of it, okay? So that's a really tricky, tricky thing with acting is not to act, not to do stuff that you think would look natural and normal because it's not going to. If it comes from your head, it's not going to. It's gotta come from your soul, your heart, your body more than anything. So that is another huge part of being in touch with your impulses, is being in touch with your body. So many actors are not in touch with their bodies, they're like frozen and they just are tense and they move around, they move around like robots. We can't, that's not going to work if you, if you really want to act well. So you have to learn, we have to learn to be in touch with our bodies. What, did, what does your body feel like right now? You know, how does your butt feel? How do your eyebrows feel? What's going on emotionally with you? This is a great exercise to do if you just want to practice impulse, if you want to practice being in touch with, with impulse. Yes, following your impulses, Paulina just said, yeah. So be in touch with your impulse. And then hopefully you're, you're in a really good acting class that is teaching you to be in touch with yourself, to be in touch with your impulses and to act on them. That's what you want to be guided to do. And there's many different ways you can do that. In my class, we work a lot with verbs, intentions and verbs. Verbs are behaviors. Stanislavski was really big into that. So verbs would be like to lead somebody, to accompany, to tickle, to seduce, different things like that. And when you play your verbs, it gives you a really direct way of relating to a person and it connects you to them and to you. And therefore, you're going to feel your impulses more doing that. All right. So playing your verbs opens up this whole world of being able to connect to people and being able to, Jason's watching. Hey, Jason. Hi. Being able to follow through, being able to be real in the moment by playing your verbs and learning to feel what, what feels right to you. What feels right? What feels like in your head telling you to do something weird? Don't, don't do that. Don't listen to your head. Listen to your impulses and it takes practice. Okay, so there's a couple of different things you can do. As I said, you can just practice in your daily life, feeling your impulses. You can do it when you're moving your body, when you're out on a walk. You can certainly do it when you're playing a scene, when you're in class, when you're doing an audition. Just notice, what do I feel like doing? You may have a track in your head saying, this is what a good actor would do. They would say it this way or blah, 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 blah. And that's what we want to learn to not listen to. We want to learn to listen to our heart and be in the moment. The biggest thing about acting is acting is about being free and in the moment. That's what you want. You need to do some back work. You need to know what you want. You need to know what it means to you. You need to play some verbs, all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, you need to drop everything, be in the moment, connect to your impulses and to your partner who is ever there, even if it's a reader at an audition. And that's another tip. I'll leave you with this last tip and then I got to go on to New York. Um, last tip is how you know if you've done a really good audition is you look at your reader and you, you see if they have been moved in some way and if they feel connected to you and you to them. Okay, so that's a really great thing. When you're acting, 
it's all in your other in your partner in their eyes in their body you know if you're connecting to them because you can look at them and you can see them being being moved and being connected okay this is acting from all angles from today um for today wish me luck in new york i'm really excited my husband's going to be playing handball a ton and i'm going to be auditing some acting classes and going to shows and just doing fun new york things which will be fun because i lived there for eight years and being really close to Chicago right now, you know that's where I went to acting school for four years, so it's great to come back here and just see things. Okay guys, rock on, keep going, have a fantastic weekend. Um, please post your questions for me up on Actors and Actioners so I can really, 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 oh thanks Paulina, she says break a leg, thank you. So I can really, really help you out with what we need, what, what you need to improve your acting. Thanks to everybody for wishing me luck in New York and having fun, and I will see you when I get back, but next, next Friday, I'm gonna be broadcasting live from New York City, so that'll be super fun. All right, have a great weekend. I will see you next time on Actors, Actors and Actioners Facebook Live, Acting From All Angles. Have a great one, bye.